Canon has slowly been building out their Compact Prime lineup for their RF system, the latest of which is the Canon RF 28mm f2.8. Now this is a budget friendly prime coming in at $299. It is lightweight, it is affordable, and it is a focal range that is becoming increasingly more popular. So how does this little pancake from Canon perform? That is exactly what we're gonna find out today, starting with image quality. This lens is good, but not great. Back in the day, there used to always be a sharpness penalty when shooting wide open. Closing the lens by one to two stops would help to sharpen them up. Now with the move to more modern glass and manufacturing, this sort of thing has gone away. This makes the 28 millimeter a bit of a trip down memory lane. At f2.8, the image has a softness to it that gets even worse as you move out towards the edges. Now with that being said, the images you get at 2.8 are far from useless. It still produces a pleasing image, but it is very much a lens that benefits from being closed down a stop or two. Flares and ghosting are fairly well controlled. Living in Pittsburgh, sunny days are few and far between, but in some more controlled tests, you can see the three aspheric elements and the super spectra coating Canon has used does a good job keeping things in check. One thing to note is this lens does not come with a lens hood. One can be purchased from Canon, but that's gonna run you $45. Unlike the 24 millimeter and the 35 millimeter, both of which don the macro moniker from Canon, the close focusing distance of the 28 millimeter might be one of the worst I've ever experienced in a wide angle lens. With a close focusing distance of 9.1 inches, it is almost double that of the 24 millimeter. Now, if you take that close focusing distance paired with an f2.8, getting separation can be a little challenging. When you do get some separation and some bokeh, I found it to be pleasing. It cat's eyes towards the edge with a little bit of texturing in the out of focus elements towards the center. When we dive into the raw files, we see some pretty heavy corrections being baked in. Aberration, barrel distortion, vignette, it is all here. Now, this isn't specific to this lens, or Canon for that matter. A lot of times when companies are trying to hit a price point, it is cheaper to fix things in post rather than add more glass to the lens. One of the more notable sacrifices Canon did have to make given the pancake form factor was stabilization. It feels like almost every lens that comes out today has stabilization, and it's not something you really think about until it's gone. Trying to handhold shots even down to 1 15th of a second can be challenging. This is a lens I would probably aim to shoot with a shutter speed of at least 125 or more. On the video side, I found this lens to be more than sharp enough when paired with my R6 to get some really nice shots. The lens doesn't really do anything you wouldn't expect. The STM motor is more than up to the job of pulling focus. The lens does breathe. You can see in this shot just how much the lens shifts when moving between near and far subjects. Focus breathing aside, I didn't find the lens to be particularly loud. It was light and easy to handle. Now I don't see this guy flying off of shelves as a dedicated cinema lens, but it is more than capable of getting the job done if you're a hybrid shooter. Now let's talk who this is for. Coming in at $299, this is one of Canon's most affordable prime lenses and a great starting point for somebody new to photography trying to get into fast aperture wide angle lenses. The build quality is on par with other Canon compact primes. You don't get weather sealing, but what you do get is solid build quality, a metal mount, and a control ring with selectable dial. The sharpness and stabilization are the only two downsides of this lens, in my opinion. Now, this isn't going to satisfy all of the professional shooters out there. An RF 15-35 to 
set to 28 millimeters shooting at f 2.8 is going to outperform this lens but as an affordable lightweight prime there's a lot to like about this little pancake from canon as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another one